Wonder Dad Gaming. Of course, I am Lemon76 of Wonder Dad Gaming. Thank you for joining me today. Today, we got a review of a new monitor. And if you saw by the title of the screen, is this going to be the best monitor for an Xbox Series X? Um, well, let's start off with what this actually is. Okay, this is the Gigabyte M27Q. It is a 27-inch IPS 144, or no, sorry, 170 hertz. 1440p monitor. It does have HDR, but it's HDR 400, so not that great. It does not have local dimming, so HDR on this is not going to be the greatest. But it does have 170, 170 hertz on DisplayPort and 120 hertz on HDMI. Um, so, with this, on paper, uh, the this should really work real well with a Xbox Series X, having that 1440p at 120 fps which we all want now of course you saw my video using this monitor here at 120 fps with a 1080p monitor so this is 1440p so it's going to have a little bit it's going to have much uh crisper look it's going to be 2k not 4k because 4k is super expensive but for really for 4k you need so much distance from the actual viewing angle to actually get what you're looking for so with this you're going to get that really nice crisp picture because you're gonna, you're only going to be like a couple feet away without you know spending you know breaking the bank now i did buy this um i did get it on sale at best buy um they had it like i believe like 50 bucks off so um normal price for this is around uh 350 360 um i got it for 320 so, yeah, it's not a cheap, I mean, compared to this guy, this one I spent 280 on, brand new. Um, but this is also a little bit higher quality. Um, so let's go over its specs and features. Like I said, this is an IPS panel, where this, old, this one here is a VA panel. So this one has better contrast, where this one has better color gamut. Um, and the big reason I'm switching from uh, this monitor to this one Yes, because this is 1440p, I would like that little higher um, resolution. But the big reason is because I am a content creator, um, colors and stuff matter. And this is a much uh, nicer uh, color profile. Actually, it has one of the highest rated color profiles. Because this is an IPS panel, you only get the best colors. Now, the contrast won't be as good as the VA panel does. Now, this is also is a flat panel. I'll show you guys here. It is flat. It's no no curve compared to the other one. It does, as you can see here, it does have height adjustment. So kind of like my original monitor back here, it does have height adjustment. And it does have tilt, so you can tilt the monitor. It doesn't have swivel, so it can't swivel. This one actually can swivel, um, but not this one. This one has, only thing this one, the, the, specter, the scepter has is tilt. It doesn't have height adjustment. Let's go ahead and spin this around real fast so you guys can see the back. Now, putting this together is super easy. Now, of course, I didn't do an unboxing. Um, but to actually put it together, you just take it out of the box and you put the base on this, this stand right here. It's a screw that's captured in the uh, base. Screw it in, you're done. You remove a little uh, locking uh, piece of plastic right here that unlocks the, um, the height adjustment. So it is does have uh, it is vase amount compatible. I believe it's either seventy five by seventy five or one hundred by one hundred. I don't know exactly. I'll have it up on screen right now. <laughs> Didn't tell you which one it is. Um, so it does have vase amount. Um, now another the reason I I believe this is going to be a great monitor for something like an Xbox Series X or Series S. Or eventually, whenever PlayStation gets around to allowing 1440p monitors, the reason I call that this is going to be one of the greatest monitors for that is actually over here. Now, over here, you do have a joystick, and that's for your on screen controls. So, color, overdrive, free sync, all that stuff. Oh, yeah, this does have free sync pro premium or premium. You're seeing premium pro gotta love the naming skill so this does have variable refresh rate so if you have an xbox series x or and it does work with g-sync um there is some good videos out there um that show you how to get a um amd free sync panel to work with um uh free sync 
AMG seem to work with freezing. So the only real gloss on this is right here. So anyways, back to what I was getting at, I digress. Anyways, here's the joystick, but there's one button right above it. No, it's a KVM switch. And what that does is right here on the bottom in your AI, in your IO, is you have, oh, there's more plastic to peeled. Anyways, <laughs> I know, I am so easily distracted. Right, right there. Very little piece of plastic too. Anyways, um, so it just does have a USB 3 hub in it. Um, actually, if I can get to the cables real fast. Comes with this guy. This is a B to A mount or B to A cable, USB 3. So this part plugs into the bottom of the monitor and this plugs in your computer. Then there's two additional USB 3 ports on the bottom. So you can hook your mouse and your keyboard into it. And it also does have a C port on this. Now the advantage with that is you can actually, with that KVM switch, is actually switch between two different sources. Now we are going to try that out and see if we can get this working with an Xbox. Because currently the way I have my system set up is I have my PC here, I have a KVM, a, se a separate KVM switch. And then I hit that and it changes my uh, keyboard and mouse to work with my Xbox. So instead of working on my PC. So the reason I'm kind of hoping to get this working with that is I don't have to have the external uh, KVM switch, it all can be built right in. So we're gonna give that a try. We're gonna make sure to see if that works. If it works, I'll let you know. If it doesn't work, I'll let you know that too. I mean, heck, you know, that's why you come for these reviews to find out. Now, other things it does come with, it does come with a uh, display port or a display cable. Display port. <laughs> well, that's what you're gonna plug into it. <laughs> and it does come with an HDMI cable. So this comes with pretty much everything you need, you know. And because as you can see how thin this monitor is, as you can see right here, how thin it is. Um, of course, it's going to have an external power brick. So, now for power bricks, I won't lie, this one actually is pretty small. Um, it's actually smaller than my Scepter one. Now, my Zeus monitor back here, my chat monitor, that one actually has a built-in power supply, but that's also a much thicker boa. So, that is everything that comes in the box. Now, it does come with a couple additional power cables for um, two different type of European plugs. But, of course, I'm not using that here. So, let's get on to the bottom and tell you everything that's in here. So, all the ports it has. So, we have... Uh, I'm just going to tilt this so I can, it's easier for me to see it. <laughs> two HDMI ports. Like I said, both can run 120 hertz. It does have a headphone jack because this does not have speakers. That's the big thing that I'm going to lose when I switch from this one is this doesn't have speakers so I will have to use either my headset or I have to get a soundbar. I am thinking about getting that on soundbar at Walmart. If I do and I get it I'll do a quick review on it let you guys know if it's worth it. Then you have a display port and then you have a, the, a type C port and then your two USBs and your power port. Okay so let's back down. And on the back it does says M27Q. There's no RGB on this unlike this guy. It's pretty straightforward pretty simple. But that Type-C port also will accept Type-C port display. So maybe if you're not, if you have like a gaming laptop or a work laptop or something like that that does support, or even phones, certain phones, that support display out over USB-C, that will work with this. And you can actually run that and actually switch between um, those your PC and your, um, your PC and your laptop or you can switch it between two computers. Like I said, today, the big thing we're gonna find out, does this work between switching between your PC and switching between your Xbox? And let you know, is it is that any good? So, And also, I have heard a lot of people having problems with running 1440p at 120 hertz. Today, we're gonna to find out, can we get this monitor here actually able to run 1440p at 120 hertz? Because I've heard a lot of people having issues and problems with that. So today we're going to try it out and see what we get. I do did contact um, a friend of the channel and asked him. And he said he can get it to work. Um, so he sent me over um, a little troubleshooting guide. So we're going to go over that today. Um, so if you do get a monitor like this and you want to be able to run for if we can run 1440p, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this all switched over into here. And what we're going to go over is we're going to go over um, the... Um, basically the interface for the menu, show you how that looks. And we're gonna show you this running, hopefully running 1440p at 120 hertz. 
So we're gonna get that all set up. And if it doesn't, we're gonna do some gameplay and all that stuff and we'll get to it. So stick with the video and have a good time. So, and of course, as always, if you are new to the channel and you like this video, please leave a like and also consider subscribing. Okay, so, now that okay. we did the unboxing and quick overview, we're gonna go ahead and go through like settings and things like that. And I, like I said, I did show off the KVM switch on the back and show you what that's all about. Now, when, now the reason I'm not doing a screen capture and I'm just recording this is it's for the on display, um, you can't really record it. Now there is a nice little feature. It's this OSD Sidekick app, which allows you to control the um, all your display functions from actually your desktop, which is nice. It took a little bit to get uh, set up, but once I did, it works really well. So we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and click the toggle on the back. And then you got your settings. And as you can see here, um, we're gonna get 1440p, 144 hertz. I know this does 170, I just have it set for 144 because this monitor, my secondary monitor, is set for 144, so I just like setting with the same rate. Um, here you can go through, of course, it shuts off. Here you can go through and do your aim stabilizer, your black equalizer, super resolution display, overdrive, premium presync. Um, picture display, all those lovely settings. There's a lot of really good settings in here. Now, if you go in here, you can go to game assist. Um, this one, you can do a timer, a counter. Um, you can have it so it displays the refresh rate. So whatever refresh rate it's running, it'll show it. It does have the crosshairs, but let's be honest, don't be using those, those are cheats. In my opinion, they are, so. But let's get to what this video is all about. How well does this run on an Xbox Series X? So, like as you see right here right now, um, my mouse and keyboard are running on uh, my PC. Now these, the, uh, my Glorious Model D and my, eight, my Z88 are both plugged into the monitor. So, and it's just of course displaying my PC. Now if I reach back here and just touch the switch, Boom, I am now over on my Xbox. And now, my mouse and my keyboard now run on this, which is awesome. For somebody like myself who runs both a PC and an Xbox for my gaming and all that stuff, this is amazing. Because I don't have to switch, I don't have to have two sets of keyboards, I don't have to have a separate KVM switch. Everything just runs through that. It's super easy. It's one button, switches between my PC, my Xbox. It's just super, super easy. So if you're somebody who has even just two PCs, like you have a work PC and a gaming PC, this is gonna work great. If you have a desktop or, or the setup I'm running, a gaming console and a PC, this makes it just so much easier just to switch between the two. Now, um, now when I first got this, um, we'll go right into settings. Let me grab my controller because it's a little easy to navigate this with the controller. So, okay, settings. Now we're gonna go over here to TV display. Now, as you can see, it is set to 144 uh, or one, 1440, 144 um, at 120 hertz. Now, when I did first get this, it was reading only 1080p 120 hertz. Um, after talking with a few uh, members in the market and stuff and let them know and other uh, channels and stuff like that, um, Xbox has been rolling out updates for monitors to support the 1440 at 120 hertz. Not all monitors can do it. This one is now one of them. Like I said, this is the M27Q. This one can run 1440p at 120 hertz. Now, a big thing you gotta do here. If you do get this monitor, you're gonna go into your video modes at the allow 4k shut it off and the reason is i'm saying shut it you want to shut it off is because if you try to set this to allow 4k what's going to happen is this monitor is going to downscale a 4k signal and not let you even run that 1440p at 120 hertz so just disable it <laughs> it's just simpler and then you're going to get the ability to run 1440p at 120 hertz and i will not lie it looks amazing. Um, I 
I can show you B-roll of, like, me playing this and stuff, but I don't think you'd get... You just wouldn't get the... Basically the same level of detail, if I show it that way. So, honestly, in a way, you're going to have to kind of take my word for it. Um, now, normally these go for about $330 um, when they're on sale. Normally, MSRP for these is $350. Um, I picked mine up for, I think I got like $325 because I, I had a coupon. Uh, anyways, and so I picked it up for that, and I won't lie. It's amazing. Um, like I said, it has full height adjustment and stuff like that. Very easy to run. Um, it does have tilt. It doesn't have pan or anything, and it doesn't have swivel. So those are the two modes. Now, my one over here, this one has all that, but this one's only a 1080p panel. And it's a TN panel, not an IPS. Now, the color accurate, the colors on this are great. Now, I personally run this. So I'm going to go in here real quick, and I'll show you. Go up to settings. We go over down to picture. And go over here. You can select which one you want. Now, right there was in standard. I normally like running it in movie. And the reason I like running it in movie, it gives it a really vibrant punch to it. Um, now, some people, when they first get these monitors, their black equalizer is really, really high, and it'll have a really washed out look. Just go in and turn it down, it'll look fine now. But, like I said, um, I'm kind of trying to keep this a little short, but this monitor, for the price, and what you get out of it, the two, basically 2K, 120 hertz, um, the ability to switch between your systems by just the touch of a button, like this, and bam we're back on it it's it's super super easy um now the nice thing about that type c port on the bottom it can support display over type c so certain laptops um cell phones and things like that you can actually run display through that so like my samsung phone that i use i could actually plug this in and run samsung decks on it with my peripherals still attached which is pretty awesome now, one thing I'll show you, which I, I've seen a few videos on this. Nobody goes over this, so I'm going to go over this for you. Okay, so when you're in the settings, you're going to go to KVM. Now, if you want to set this up, you go down to KVM Wizard. And what that's going to do is allow you to pick what you want your displays to be. And for what? So, the USB Type-B, which is going to my computer, I think... No. My, no, I just thought about that. My um, USB Type B is going to my Xbox, so I click that for HDMI 1. And then my Type C port, which is going to my Xbox or my PC, I just click that. So now, when I'm set up here, I have it set to switch to those displays. You can go in and you can switch this to whatever you want, how you want it to be laid out. You can actually set it up so, like, it goes to display type C plus type C uh, uh, controls. So that's how you switch the KVM switch. Because I've seen a lot of videos where people talk about how it has a KVM switch, but not exactly how it works. That's how it works. It's very simple, very easy. So bottom line for this monitor, if you have a newer system, now, of course, PS5 doesn't have 1440 support uh, yet. They, are, they say they will be bringing it out. So if they do bring it out, this is going to be a great monitor for that. But, I mean, even if you can, if you don't mind 1080p at 120 hertz, get this for a PS5. This will be amazing. Especially if you, like I said, if you have two systems. If you have a PC and an Xbox, or two PCs, or a PC and a laptop, and you like to use your laptop for work, but then you learn the game on your rig, or vice versa. This makes it very, very easy. You don't have to be switching a lot of peripherals around, and it's just a simple one click of the button. Very, very simple. Like I said, this is for the price and the performance and the color accuracy. This thing is amazing. I would highly recommend this if you have, say, a Series X or a Series S or a, you know, a newer computer that actually has a pretty decent graphic card that can push that 1440p. Yeah, this is going to be... A killer monitor for that and also if you're like the reason I got it is because I'm a content creator so I'm creating videos all the time color accuracy is important to me 
So that is a big reason I got this monitor because my VA panel that I had before, it was good, but the color accuracy was a little off. It was more vivid and like kind of overdone, really wasn't giving me like the accurate colors I was looking for. And the TN panel behind me has more of a washed out color. I mean, the TN panels are always built for speed. They're not built for color accuracy. Where an IPS display like this is built for color accuracy. So, well, um, like I said, it was a very short, simple video. Um, yes, I could show gameplay on it, but it it's really hard to convey how it looks through a display and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, I highly recommend this. This is my this is definitely one of my new favorite monitors I've used. Um, like I said, if you got a new system or a decent PC and stuff like that. I would highly, highly recommend this um, monitor for you. So there will be a link for this in the description below. So if you are interested um, and you actually buy through that link, it does actually help out the channel. So consider doing that. And also, if you're new to this channel and you like what you see, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please leave a like. It always helps out the channel. Okay. Um, every month we do our uh, give giveaways and we do have one coming up very soon um, to the, related to this video. <laughs> Don't mind my dogs. They're annoying sometimes. <laughs> um, so uh, we do have a giveaway coming up soon. And, of course, we stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So do come just stop in. and We do it on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. So do stop in and check us out because we always have our chats up, up on screen. So no matter what platform you're on, you can chat with us, which is a lot of fun. So thank you for joining me today. I am Lemon76 and Wonder Dad Gaming. I hope to catch you on the next video. And as always, peace.